Good morning. It is about 2.45 in the morning and this morning I'm going to do a little bit of cruising around on my new little portable shortwave radio that I bought about a week and a half ago. This is a Texan PL660. So far this radio has been working out really good for me. I love to do some shortwave listening. I haven't totally got into everything that this radio does, uh, but I'm slowly getting there. And this morning, we're going to be looking on five different frequencies, trying to find two different radio stations that broadcast simultaneously at the same time on the same frequency. We're going to be listening for WWV in Fort Collins, Colorado and WWVH in Kauai, Hawaii. The UTC, which is Coordinated Universal Time, it's basically the world time. It's just a continual broadcast of exactly what time of day it is. I don't know how many people have heard this. All of the shortwave guys know about it and uh, tune it in because uh, you're guaranteed to hear this you know, wherever you're at in the world, you're going to be able to pick up one of these five uh, broadcasts on the shortwave band. They broadcast on 2.5, 5, 10, 15, and 20 megahertz. And apparently they do occasionally broadcast on 25 megahertz. So uh, let's go ahead and see what's out there this morning at 2.45 in the morning. Uh, as far as shortwave goes, the time of day, day and night, and all kinds of things uh, make a difference in what you can hear on the shortwave because it's um, the ionosphere and everything. It sends a signal around the world and then it causes interference and so forth and so on. So uh, perhaps I didn't explain that very well, but you just never know what you're going to hear and you can hear stuff from all over the world. So I am 900 miles away from radio station WWV in Fort Collins, Colorado. You can see on the Google map here I've already laid out the little ruler marks. 2,500 miles away from radio station WWV um, in Kauai, Hawaii. So basically I'm right in the middle of these things. And these stations are 3,400 miles apart. So I should be able to hear Fort Collins much easier than I can Kauai, Hawaii, and often that is true. Um, Fort Collins, WWV is going to be the male voice, and WWVH in Kauai, Hawaii is going to be the female voice. So that's what we're li listening for, and you'll hear the station identification at the top of the hour and at the bottom of the hour. So let's go ahead and snap this on. And I have it on 2.5 megahertz. So this radio is really easy to use. There's a, like I said, there's a lot of stuff on here I have not experimented yet with. I have not set, uh, figured out how to set my memory channels. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll listen there. The tuning knob is really easy, nice and smooth. So we're at 2.5. I'm not hearing anything. So let's go up to 5 megahertz and see what we're going to hear. There we got it. And there it is. We just heard the male voice there. We're at 5 megahertz. And they do have some broadcasts of weather and solar flares and things like that. Uh, and that's what I'm hearing right now. But you can hear the clock, the, the ticking and the tones. But it's fading in and out. Up here is a uh, showing how the signal is fading in and out so let's wait till we get to
coordinated universal time. All righty. Well, I heard not only the female voice, which is uh, Kauai, Hawaii, and I heard the male voice, which is Fort Collins. So at 5 megahertz, it's coming in pretty good at 2.49 a.m., but it's still fading in and out. So let's go up to the next frequency, which will be 10. And 10 sounds pretty quiet. As you can see, there's no activity here. Yeah, 10 is pretty quiet. So let's head up to... We're looking for 15 megahertz. And again, 15 is pretty quiet. So chances are the next two frequencies will be pretty quiet as well. As we go up the shortwave scale... So I don't have this set up yet, memory-wise. Now you can see how easy I'm using one finger to wheel the, uh, the tuning knob. It's just so easy. And it works so smooth. I have it set on fast. It can be fast or slow as far as moving through the frequencies. Okay, there we are. We're at 20 megahertz, and again, we're really, really quiet there, for sure. I'm not hearing anything. Let's go try 25, and again, I have to wheel this thing. I like the way that uh, tuning knob feels. It's very nice. Okay, that's really, really quiet. So the reason they broadcast on five different frequencies on the shortwave, and I think I already talked about that, is that Somewhere, wherever you're at in the world, you're going to hear this. You're going to be able to at least tune in one of them. All right. So this only goes up to... And let's just quickly... Just see how fast we can run it up to the highest part of the shortwave it goes. Which is going to be 29.999 megahertz. And we're getting there. You can see there's some stuff in there in between. I'm not going to stop and listen to that. Alrighty, we're almost there. There we are. Yep. 29,999 is the highest it goes. And then we go back to the beginning, which is 1711. Alrighty, now let's go. There we are, we're at 2.5 again where we started. It's pretty quiet. And then we jump up to 5 megahertz and that's where both these stations are coming in very, very nicely. Well, it's not real nice. You can hear it fading in and out. So it'll change. It will change, absolutely. Well, it's coming in pretty good. Most people are going to find listening to this to be very boring, but... I kind of enjoy listening to it. And it is coming from 900 miles away. Okay, well, we'll come back later on this afternoon in 12 hours. And usually there's going to be a big difference in the way everything sounds just because the ionosphere is doing its thing and all the good, all that good stuff. So we'll come back then and check it out.